Okay, this video will be the first in a series to help you model this salt and pepper mill. So this is the completed project. This is what we should get when we uh, finish. Um, I'll just go to a different view here to show you that you see on the inside there is a lot of mechanisms and um, other parts of this project. However, we're just gonna start with the basic uh, outer part. We're going to look at the top and the bottom piece for this pepper mill. Okay, so that's what it will look like at the finish. We want to start with a new uh, part file. So again, as per usual, I'm gonna open up the project tab and make sure your current folder is ticked. If it's not, you need to tick that and locate it. Then we're gonna create a new part. So we file new. You can select from here. What I usually like to do is make sure that we're in the correct metric standard millimeters as we are drawing this in Australia with Australian standards. If you're in elsewhere, you can use other measurements. Okay, I'm just gonna use a standard millimeter IPT part file here. Okay, and we're gonna create this. Now there's a number of ways that you can do this. I'm just gonna do the most basic way, uh, especially helpful for beginners. Okay, and that is using um, basic extrusion tools and you'll be able to follow as we go along. So first thing I'm gonna do is start with a 2D sketch. I'm going to be drawing on the X Z plane, okay, and in my navigation cube up here, I'm just gonna rotate that around to make sure I'm square and using the top. Okay, so the base of the pepper mill that we are using is uh, 50 millimeters square. So I'm gonna start with a rectangle. I'm gonna select my origin point. I'm going to just click once and then move my mouse out to the right hand side. I'm not gonna touch in my mouse anymore. I'm just gonna type, type in 50. If I've got the standard millimeters already set, I don't need to type in mm. Okay, I'm just gonna hit tab, which will then take me to the next measurement of dimension I need to put in, which is also 50, and then I'm going to hit enter. Okay, that is going to give me a 50 by 50 square that I'm going to use to extrude. I'm going to finish that sketch, and that is gonna be essentially the base of the bottom of the salt or pepper mill. All right, now we want to extrude this to make it into a 3D part. I'm going to extrude this section. For this bottom section of the paper, of the salt and pepper mill, it is uh, 83 millimeters tall. Okay, so I'm just going to type in 83 for that dimension, hit OK. Okay, and I can press either F6 or I can select the isometric on the, on the navigation cube. It'll bring me back to the center. Right, so that's basically the, the bottom section done as if it was a solid piece of timber. Okay, then what we wanna do is we wanna take away some material from this mill to create some room for the mechanism to go in underneath. So I'm just rotating around to get to the bottom of my mill and I'm gonna start a 2D sketch on this area here. All right, there's a number of ways you can find your center. Uh, if we use the circle tool, and navigate down to the middle, you can see that the yellow highlighted origin point or the cursor turns green when it's in the center. And if I drag down, okay, that will give me a center line. And same for the left, okay, I can drag down. What I like to do sometimes, especially again for beginners, is I just draw um, some diagonal points across here, pressing escape between each time. Okay, and that's going to give me a center point to use, pressing escape again. Now, the first uh, section that I'm going to remove is going to be a 34 millimeter uh, cylinder or circle shape that I'm gonna extrude as a cut extrude five millimeters in. So starting with a circle, I'm going to just create a 34 millimeter circle there and hit enter. Okay, and then I am going to essentially, I could finish the sketch, but just to make it a bit neater and show you some more tools, I can hit the trim tool function here first, and I can get rid of these guidelines that I just used to find my center. Okay, and that gives me that area there that I'm going to then finish. Then I'm gonna extrude this section here. If I go to a side view, you can see that it's extruding out to start with, I don't want it to be 83, I only need it to be five millimeters, so I'm gonna change that dimension. And then secondly, 
I want the profile to be a cut profile. Okay, so if I press cut profile, it's gonna actually cut that, but it's in the, um, the wrong direction, so I need to uh, change that direction here by flipping it, and it's going to then remove five millimeters of material from the inside. Okay, so that's the next step there. Okay, and this is just one section. The next section that I'm going to extrude is a 23 diameter circle. So I'm just gonna get my Start 2D Sketch tool again and select in here. Okay, this time I'm just gonna use my circle tool and the origin point will be already um, located in the center for this time because we've already got a circle there. And I want this one to be 23 millimeters in diameter. So I'm just hitting 23 and then enter. And then I am going to, again, finish that sketch and do a cut extrusion. So again, starting with the extrude button, hitting it on there. We want to extrude this the remaining distance in the, in the opposite direction. So I'm going to change this to 78 and change the direction to a cut direction. It's going to take that all the way out and I'm going to hit OK. And if that was done properly, it should be able to see all the way through. Okay, so if I want to navigate again, I can press F6 to navigate back around to the front or I can navigate using my um, navigation cube up here. Okay, so essentially that is the basic shape that's going to house the mechanism of the bottom. All right, and I'm doing this for a school project. So for those kids that are wanting to do just the base default model, the only thing else we've got to do is round over these edges and we can do that by using the fillet tool and we can select the two millimeter radius and it's as simple as choosing the edges that we want to round off. Okay, and it's going to round those off there. We want to keep it a flat base so um, it's nice and sturdy where it sits and then we just hit OK and it will round that off. Okay, so if we look around, that's essentially all we need to do for the uh, bottom of our, uh, of our salt and pepper grinder old mill. If we change the visual style here to see the, visual, the hidden edges, you can see that that mechanism has an area in there for, um, for that mechanism to slide into. And if we look underneath, okay, there will be an additional little screw hole that we'll put in here, okay, but we'll refer to that later when we, when we insert the mechanism. I just want to focus on just the actual body of this at the moment. All right, so that would be the basic uh, default um, model for the base. Um, we can look later about putting our own designs on the side and all that, but that'll come further at the end. Okay, so that's step one. That's how we model the base of our salt and pepper milk.